Alrighty. <clears throat> What's up, motherfuckers? Peter Gilmore here for a quick video right here on Metal God 669. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe to all my other channels, which are all down there, dude. All four of my channels, including this one. So, subscribe to all of my channels down below. And find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to tap that bell, turn on all my notifications, so you never, ever, ever miss an upload. And you stay in the loop, and you don't miss a thing. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. So, like the video, do whatever the fuck you want, like the video, dislike the video, I really don't give a shit, free views, but it is what it is, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channels, and follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, don't forget to share the video all over the internet, and don't forget to tap that bell, and um, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on this pretty nice, very nice, um, Monday, about to be Monday evening, but the sun's about to go down fully, so, Monday evening, October, excuse me, November the 8th, 2021, on the Metal God channel, as always on this channel, you get your um, music news here and there. Maybe some merchandise stuff, I get a CD, or I do a music review, or basically anything I feel like doing. But mostly, the channel has now been uh, relegated to uh, tributes of the Faithful Departed, my legendary uh, videos of, uh, of a lot of um, wrestlers and celebrities. I mean, just go down my channel, and you'll see some of them, so... But it is what it is. So, so check it out right now. Well, we got uh, before we even start, we got Monday Night Raw tonight um, from uh, Lubbock, Kentucky. I think I think it's in Kentucky. But we'll see what happens from them after uh, after the the after WWE uh, did their UK tour. So now they're back in the states. They're going to be in Kentucky tonight with a probably shitty Raw. Um, it is what it is. Um, nothing has been announced as of yet. But um, we do know that one person will not be on Raw. And that will be Finn Balor. So, he's not going to be on Raw um, tonight. Um, maybe just taking the night off. Or maybe he's got an issue. I don't know. But, I mean, the, there's only one big match tonight, and that is uh, Seth Rollins and Kevin Steen. Or Kevin Owens, for you dumb people. Uh, that's probably going to be your, either your, probably, I would think, the main event tonight. We'll see what well, what happens with that, and um, what happens regarding Big E. As, um, you know, those guys have been fighting over the WWE title, and now they're, they're actual teammates. Well, besides not Big E, of course. Um, Rollins and... And uh, Owens are teammates on the Men's Survivor Series team, along with Finn Balor and uh, two other people. Uh, who was it? Um, I forget who was on the Raw team. I I, don't, I think it's Rollins. Rollins Owen. Yeah, I, I think I know now. Rollins Owens, Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and Finn Balor. That's on the raw side, so I might be doing something tonight regarding that situation. Um, probably do something with Big E tonight. Maybe uh, trying to uh, talking about talk about Roman Reigns or what happened with uh with Roman. Now Roman's supposed to face Xavier Woods or King Xavier on SmackDown this Friday night. See so what happens with that. Maybe Big E gets involved in that and does maybe cuts a promo on Roman. Cause I gotta hype something for you know the main well really the main match is only two mat two matches already announced that was the men's and women's survivor series match and the teams are horrible 
So really, I think the what I think WWE's got to do tonight is kind of get the big ones out of the way. The big one out of the way, which is going to be Roman Reigns and Big E, uh, one on one, Raw versus SmackDown, of course. So they're probably going to start building to that because I really haven't been building to anything lately, and we're uh, we are. 13 days away. We're basically only two weeks away from the Survivor Series, so we only have two matches announced. And they were announced on the WWE Twitter page. Not even on the show, which sucks. But maybe we'll get some matches announced this week, and then the next and then next week is the Go Home show. On Monday Night Raw, and then SmackDown next Friday night is in um Connecticut. So and then that's that. And then you got the Survivor Series on the 21st at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. And then the next night, Raw emanates from the Barclays Center. And then um, um, the week after that, Raw November the 29th is at the new, uh, the new Nassau Mausoleum in Belmont Park, Long Island. So. So right now, um, WWE is really not doing much with Survivor Series right now. And then, hopefully after Survivor Series, they'll start building to their, what would have been, uh, TLC, but they got rid of that pay-per-view. And in their place is going to be Day 1, which is on January the 1st, 2022, from Atlanta, Georgia. So, after um, Thanksgiving, I would think they're going to start promoting or hyping this new pay-per-view called Day One, but but we'll see what happens with with all that. Anyway, so we'll see what happens with um, on Monday Night Raw in a little over a uh, little under three hours, and um, I will be give, give, giving you my Raw review later tonight on the Killer Demons Six Six Nine channel. So check it out, subscribe to it right now, and don't forget to hit that bell. That's it. Alright, and I wasted seven and a half minutes just talking about that. But anyway, um, as the title below says, uh, well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news on this channel. Which, as you know, if, if, you, know, if you see the Metal Guard channel, it's either a, a death video or, by the grace of God, some music video. But today, November the 8th, 2021, we have a death in the wrestling family. And, uh, it's a woman, um, who really didn't do much back in, um, back in WCW near when basically WCW was kind of at its peak before the whole Time Warner AOL thing happened. And she was in, and probably one of the most prominent matches in the, in the WCW around the Russo era. Well, around 98, you think about it. Around the, you know, the same time with the, you know, the Attitude Era. And then when WCW was starting to, <laughs> it was, was kind of, kind of around the same time when the, you know, the Monday Night Wars were going on. 97, 98, going into 99. And then WCW went downhill pretty quick when the Attitude Era came around. But this particular woman, um, played a pretty decent part in um, 1998, in WCW 1998, and that woman is the lovely Judy Bagwell. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have the sad news to report that earlier, a couple, as of a couple hours ago, uh, Judy Bagwell has passed away at the age of 78. And, uh, uh, don't know the cause of death at this time. Um, I have the story on ringsidenews.com. I'll put the link in the in the description box so you all can watch. Um, Bill Actor just did a video about this. So, I mean, it's actual news. It's not fake. I mean, I don't give you guys fake news or clickbait. Unlike certain other people we know. Just saying. Um, so, yeah. Very sad day. Judy Bagwell. You know, the infamous... Judy Bagwell on a forklift match in 1998. Um, and um, I'll get to that in a second. So yeah, Judy Bagwell is, um, has passed away. 
at the age of uh, 78. Now she's in that great wrestling ring in the sky, probably on a forklift. I don't know. I, I'm not being funny or anything. I'm just, you know, just, you know, saying that there might be a forklift with her on it. But it is what it is. Uh, all right, so here's a story from ringsidenews.com is the source. Like I said, I will put it in the description box. And I said, all right, let's get into it. Um, all right, so Judy Bagwell passed away at the age of 78. Her son, Marcus Buff Bagwell, he's buff. He's the stuff, and the girls just can't get enough. Well, not lately. <laughs> Bag Buff Bagwell is kind of old now. I don't even think he can be a gigolo anymore. I don't even think, I think he lost that job. Remember when he was on that show, Gigolo? I think it was called Gigolos or Male Gigolos. I forgot what, what it was called. It's like, a, like some, some uh, freaking program that was on cable where all these gigolos, they go out and they meet these chicks and just bang them. And Buff Bagel was on one, um, a couple episodes. I think, I think it was a kind of a ripoff of the dollhouse, you know, with uh, Dennis Hoff. God, God rest that mighty man's soul. He's probably having a... Dennis Hoff. Probably having like a great time in heaven now. You know, with all the sluts that went to heaven with him too, Bobby. I don't know. But it is what it is. But anyway, uh, Buff Bagwell shared the sad news on his Twitter... Um, on Twitter, on his Twitter page, earlier this afternoon, a couple hours ago, actually, I think, it, I think it actually happened around, I think, between 1 and 3 o'clock, so, this is actually, well, not kind of breaking news, but it's news that you need to, need to hear. Uh, Judy was featured in several memorable WCW segments, most notably the Judy Bagwell on a forklift match. Uh, in 1998, uh, Bagwell briefly became a former WCW Tag Team Champion after Rick Steiner chose Ms. Bagwell to, re to replace the injured Chaos. I don't even remember that guy. But anyway, I'm a big historian. I can't even remember a guy named Chaos in 1998 from WCW. Go figure. One second. That's something in my teeth. Anyway, um... Right, Steiner was feuding with Buff Bagwell at the time, and the idea was that Buff wouldn't beat up his mom. So, yeah, so that that's what happened. That's you know the whole the whole uh, Judy Bagwell on a pole match, on on a forklift match between Rick Steiner and Buff Bagwell at the time. So that's what happened with that. Um, Bagwell, uh, Buff Bagwell said that Judy, that his mom was suffering from dementia. Ugh. Another person who has dementia. Just, I mean, we lost Paul Ondorf this year to dementia. Terry Funk, Terry Funk, you know, has dementia, but he's still kicking ass, even though he's 84, 85 years old now. Don't know how much um, time he might have left. I hope he doesn't go in the next couple next year or two but you know when you have dementia you you know at most i mean you don't know they don't you don't even know when you're gonna go if you have dementia i mean it is what it is but just sad that uh you know paul orndorff has passed away due to complications with dementia and now judy bagwell had um has passed away with dementia and now hopefully terry funk doesn't die because of dementia but you know, there's no cure for dementia, so. It is what it is. And speaking of that, I don't have dementia, so, I mean, show me a valid, valid, uh, doctor's note that says I got dementia, you fucking trolls. Fuck you! Show me proof, motherfuckers, and that's all I gotta say about that. Alright, here's, uh, what Bagwell said on Twitter. Um, earlier. It is with a heavy heart we must announce that this past Friday... The matriarch of the Bagwell family has passed away. Actually, this happened Friday. I thought this happened today. Because she's just announcing it today. I don't know why. Um, anyway, Judy Bagwell was blessed with three amazing children, a loving husband, and so many great memories over the years. Um, thank you to everyone that has asked about her over the years and have kept her in your prayers during her battle with dementia. Judy Bagwell was 78. R.I.P. Judy, 1943. 
to 2021. So she just celebrated her 78th birthday this year. So nice little ripe old age that she uh, passed away. But I was hoping she you know, would keep going. But never know when the Lord upstairs will call your number. So that's that. Um. Anyway, um. Judy um, returned to WCW in 2000 after her stint in 98. She took about two years off, a year or two off. Um, and she uh, she uh, came back at the New Blood Rising, excuse me, New Blood Rising pay-per-view. She was the centerpiece of a match between Buff Bagwell and Chris Canyon. Who better than Canyon? Nobody. Hey, I put, I put that guy to a freaking table. Uh, you threw him off the top of the, uh, the, uh, the Triple Cage Tower of Doom. Remember that one? Yeah, I broke his back and he wasn't the same. Eh! I, I don't, I mean, don't be mean, Mike. I mean, this is my show. Come on, don't be mean now. Come on. No, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Just don't put Judy Bagwell through a table this time, okay? Just be nice. Bye, that goes. Um... Yeah, so that's where the gimmick happened. The, uh, the Judy Bagwell on a forklift match between Buff Bagwell and, and uh, Canyon in 2000. I thought it was in 98, but it was, it was 2000. Um, anyway, uh, Buff won, was able to win the match, and the entire angle went on to receive widespread ridicule by the fans because it was a Russo-type match during when Russo was kind of Owning WCW at this point, basically WCW was dead in 2000 with NWO 2000 and New Blood Rising and the Millionaire Club and all that other shit. And um, that's uh, that's that's basically it for that. So anyway, despite her strange odyssey into the world of professional wrestling, Judy Bagwell was a mother, wife, and friend above all. Her son Buff Bagwell has competed in WCW. And WWE, he was a five-time, 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 five-time WCW tag champ with various people. Scotty Riggs, you know, the American males, of course. I think two, I think two times. Uh, I don't remember the, the, the other three. I could, I, maybe, um, I forget the other three, but. Anyway, Judy Bagwell may be gone, but her memory will live forever, forever. In the minds of wrestling fans who tuned in during the Monday Night Wars. And um, Wingside News uh, says our condolences go out to the Bagwell family in this difficult time. Whether it was intentional or not, Judy entertained us all with her wrestling appearances. As a mother, she was loved dearly by the family that she leaves behind. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there is a video on Ringside News. Uh, from the night, uh, the, excuse me, the July 31st Nitro. Is that the actual match? Um, I don't want to play it because, uh, I don't want to get copyrighted, so. But I think that was, um, I think that was it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it for, for that, so. Rest in peace to Mrs. Buff Bagwell, Judy Bagwell, as uh, she has passed away at the age of 78 due to complications with dementia. So, that sucks, and um, she will be missed by basically all the hardcore wrestling fans out there, like me, WJ, Jerry, Andre Corbio, fan of YouTube, basically everybody that's been watching that's been a fan for a very, very long time. And uh, if you don't even know who Judy Bagwell is, oh, uh, maybe go watch that match from July 31st, 2000. From the Nitro from July 31st, 2000. So, go do it now. Alright, so as always on my, my tribute videos, I'm going to take some time, I'm going to take a moment to pay tribute to the faithful departed. So, to Judy Bagwell, rest in peace. You beautiful woman, you, and um, may you, uh, well, just hang on a forklift in heaven. I, I don't know, but rest in peace, Judy Bagwell. We'll see you when you. We'll we, we'll all see you 
when we see you. Cheers. Rest in peace. And that's pretty much it. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinions uh, about Judy Bagwell's death. Any memories you have besides the, the obvious uh, obvious uh, forklift on a pole match. Any memories from her time in WCW from 98 to 2000. Um, and um, basically that's it. Just leave your comments down below in the comments section of the video. You can do a video reply if you wish. Don't forget to smash that like button to death. Uh, if you dislike the video, you're basically a pussy and you have no heart and you will go to hell. And that's all I gotta say about that. I'm, so, cause I don't need to monetize the video. Like, I don't have monetization. Unlike certain people. Who, are, who we know is gonna do a video about this. And monetize the video. And then proceed to do like three other videos. But it is what it is. Um, that's basically it. So like the video ladies and gentlemen. Hit the subscribe button down below on this channel. And my other four channels. And um. We'll see what happens um, with all that. And that's it. So, I'm Peter Gilmore. I'm signing off for um, right now. I will be back um, later tonight with my Raw review for um, for tonight. As right, so we're chugging along, we're two weeks away from the Survivor Series. Well, under two weeks away now from the Survivor Series. And we'll see what happens tonight with Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens as they go one-on-one -on -one to re- well, kind of rekindle their feud they had back at WrestleMania 36. And we'll see what happens with 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 all that. See what happens with Big E. See what happens with with um the man Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. She plays with her hair, just not even her hair, Bianca Belair. So we'll see what happens with that situation. Um, maybe some stuff with Selena Vega, Selena Queen, Selena, and Carmella. Um. As I, they beat the Raw Women's Champions, the Women's cha Tag Team Champions, uh, Rhea Ripley and Nikki Ash Hole. So we'll see if they maybe get a title shot tonight. It is what it is, but I mean, Carmella, Selena, and Rhea Ripley are already on the Raw Women's Team along with um, Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan. We'll see how that goes. And uh, much, much more tonight on Monday Night Fart. No, Monday Night Raw. And that's it. And I'll be back later, like I said, tonight. All right, everybody. I'm out of here. I'm Peter Gilmore signing off. Rest in peace to Judy Bagwell. And um, you'll be missed. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, my condolences go out to Buff Bagwell and the rest of the Bagwell family. In this hard time right now, losing their mom and patriarch of the family. Not easy losing one, you know, you're a family member. But just um, not, you know, just sad. Just sad that she's gone at the age of 78. But that's it. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I'm Peter Gomez signing off. Peace out. Rock on and rock hard with you. Go, cute! And um, if you're not down with that, well, fuck you, man! And I'll see you guys later. Peace, bitches.